Hello everybody, Salty Welty is back. I have a match in the Drawagoo. This was requested by Aki. He wanted it painted in Mickey Mouse colors. So, uh, sorry, this is going to be a bit of a late update, or uh, a late video. Uh, it's not going to be uploaded and, uh, all that in enough time, so I'll just upload it at 11. So, uh, I got a little bit busy talking to mom, uh, about uh, what we're going to do with the house and all that, and she's, you know, going to help. So, uh, yeah, the, we're aiming for September to get into this house. That's, that's where we're looking at, is September. And hot damn, the 500 cost Jawagu is a fucking beefcake. To, uh, took all those, uh, attacks and still only just now to, uh, one-third health. That's not bad. Uh, but yeah, I'm use I'm running the new Jawagu weapons. I bought the level two and level four of it because it'll just downgrade to uh, uh, level one. Even if you don't have the level one, if you're using the level one Jawagu, and I don't mind playing uh, paying uh, 50, 50 points or uh, just a little bit of attack lower at a uh, lower cost. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, so uh, the Ju the Jawagu's new weapons they they can shred. Like, if you're close enough and you're letting every single rocket hit, this thing is busting out some... Like, I'm just tearing him a new one. Uh, but the thing is, they kind of scatter a smidgen too much, if you ask me. Uh, the, the hit, like, it's just a little bit everywhere when you're shooting these weapons, which is a bit of a problem. Uh, so you gotta play the Jawagu's uh, the Drago with this weapon even closer, which kind of hurts it. The only time you can really get away with long range attacks with these weapons is if it's a small map and they're all kind of clustered together because it, you're going to hit somebody at that range. You will hit somebody. It's essentially a guarantee. Uh, but yeah, like these, these are kind of some wonky ass weapons. They do incredible damage. At close range but um yeah now that they're adding different weapons to different suits in game I'm I'm so hoping I'm so hoping that uh they're gonna start looking at other suits right I'm hoping they start looking at other suits uh, to get weapon upgrades and stuff like that that's what I'm hoping for because there's a lot of suits in this game that need way more weapon variety way more weapon variety so uh hopefully only time will tell that we'll see what we get you know what i'm saying uh i'm excited i'm very excited so uh but only time will tell we'll see what happens ah scratch my ear i felt like why is scratching that like your ear like you like you get warnings for like q-tips and shit oh don't don't use q-tips they can cause damage to your ear if you're fucking stupid who the hell's taking a, a fucking Q-tip and jamming it into their ear where they bust their fucking eardrums? You're an idiot if you do that. Uh, sure enough, you can feel where the fuck that thing's going. But, uh, yeah, using, using fucking Q-tips to scratch your ears, oh, it feels like, it's like sex, oh. It's like someone stick a penis in my ear, oh. But, uh, yeah, uh, I'm excited for, uh, I'm working, uh, I'm excited for, like, all the new weapon choices we can be getting, uh, but also I've been working on, uh, some requests, like, I need to get the Rizel video out, and my opinion of the suit is starting to sour, not because of the suit itself, the suit itself is pretty freaking good, like, the Rizel's really decent, it's just every time I take it out, my team, my teammates are fucking stupid. Like last night, me and Jacob are doing our space dailies together, our first match. Uh, we had a full armor Mark III, which I'm fine with. Mark III, full armor Mark III's are strong. They're, uh, they're always going to have a damage uh, option at the ready, so I don't mind them. Then the dude switched from a general to a fucking LMRS, MLRS, and then proceeded to do only about 10,000 damage the entire round. He was constantly shooting me and uh, 
sh shooting me and Jacob in the back, uh, constantly stunning us, getting us killed. He would uh, only use his Vulcans when dashing. He would never just, like if someone's sitting in front of him, he would never shoot. He missed every melee strike. He didn't do fucking anything that entire match. And uh, why would you bring, like, I, I understand, yeah. Al using Elmores in a closed uh, space map, yeah, because you... There's a good chance you're gonna hit him with the fucking blast AOE, right? You're not gonna do that in, uh, you're not gonna hit anybody with the AOE, with the, uh, in a, what do you call that map? The asteroid base, right? Uh, it wasn't asteroid base, it was, uh, resource satellite. Yeah, that's it, that's what it was. Resource satellite. And then our second match, like, I'm doing good. Like, I became ace in the second match, like, I was kicking ass like I was doing really good but for whatever our reason our raid the Barlet custom did not do anything to the supports the enemy team had a full armor mark 3 again really good support and a Hama Hama uh, and he proceed, proceeded to not play the game he didn't score I don't even think he did 30 uh, 30,000 damage like, I don't think he really did shit. And it's it's amazing. Like, if you have two fucking supports that are going to take fat damage in melee and just not do anything. Like, the fact that I became ace against a team that has two fucking supports. I don't even remember if they had a raid. I don't even think they had a raid for me to pick on. I was going after the fucking Hamahama and the... Uh, the Rigazi custom that they had. Those were my targets that I was going after. Uh, and I became ace. Jake was stunning for me to get in because I, th I can't remember what he was in. Uh, he was in the C1, that's what it was. Uh, yeah, he was stunning for me to... He would heavy stagger for me. He would do the chip damage as I was flying forward and I would downswing him. He would follow up with the... Uh, uh, the attack, uh, the the beam hip beam guns, and then I would follow up with another downswing, and we were just comboing people's people back and uh, back and forth, uh, really treating them partially. And our our own custom just he couldn't play the game. It's I don't understand. Like he wasn't even being focused. He wasn't even being looked at half the time. But he just wasn't playing the game. Like I don't. I don't understand the concept of some of these people who play the game like they it's it's like they just don't want to do good they they are actively going out of their way to uh, put the team in detriment you know what I'm saying this right here people are gonna say the same thing to me because I was running the Joagu at 500 well we were we, it was a custom and we were playing I was playing with friends they knew what I was trying to do I was trying to get footage for my uh for my patrons but yeah like it's it's amazing how people are actively going out of their way to lose the matches and it makes no fucking sense like holy shit people choose like yeah i understand it's quick match and you just want to play the suit don't choose the fucking mlrs not in space you can do well with it right you can trust me you can but if you're going to choose to shoot your fucking teammates in the back and only use your head Vulcans while dashing and miss every melee strike, you probably should put the controller down. Just saying. But um, let's take a look at the patrons. We have Brandon Markey, Azrael, Dragon Spartan, 90 Gum, Nuggers, Jeff Dunn, Clav, Maverick, Momica, Peter Strike, Oni Savage, Pseudo Souls, Elimo, Steel Talon, Minty, Robo, Mysteries, Mercenary, Will Stab, Telemaze, Phantom, Osi, Viscarian, Xenoghost, uh, not Will Stab, I meant, uh, Xenoghost, Michael Bryson, Crusader Raven, Serena Dragon, Gutter, Lyoko, Coco, Xenic Shadow, NJ, Bean, Streeter, Rand Hero, Destroyer, Sean, Living Deadward, David, and Solpla Aki. I want to thank you guys for supporting me. It means a lot, and we shall talk to you guys later.